Hello, my name is Frank Wilde. I'm 59 years old. I live in Berlin. I'm homosexual and I'm a costume designer. Because the question should be, how could I not support Ukraine, you know? When Putin said a few days before the first scale invasion, and, and he said that to Macron and he said that to Scholz, no, we, we, we're not, we're just doing exercises on the thing and then on the, on the early morning of 24 they were bombing the whole Ukraine all at once and we all knew from, from that moment on it was a huge lie. I was pretty sure it's going, going to happen before because um, I would have never trusted Putin. We, we saw what he did with Georgia. In 2008, we saw the annexion of the Krim and, and then this referendum that they would be belong, belong to Russia after, after his, um, his uh, soldiers uh, threatened the people to vote for him and, and um, on, on Crimea, the, uh, you know, how, how they removed all, all the people from, from Crimea and exchanged them with Russians. And we have the same situation now with all this uh, um, kidnapping of the children, which is for me one of the most disgusting things that um, uh, we have to face with. Well, the only way to stop the war is that Russia removes its troops from U Ukraine. If Russia just goes from Ukraine, there will be peace. It's that simple, you know. It really is that simple. It's, it's not like it's two states fighting against each other. It's Russia fighting on Ukraine, on Ukrainian soil. And sorry, Crimea is Ukraine as well. It's Ukrainian soil. Just remove your things, go back, and there's peace. It really is that easy. I don't know what's so hard to understand about that. We had a, a huge solidarity. You know, everybody had a, a Ukrainian flag in his window, and there was always like, yeah, we sent with Ukraine and whatnot. But you, you know how it is, it went down. And uh, so what but the war didn't go down. I, I would say, like, be aware of what you have, and, and be aware of what is in danger. And you, you have to, to, to know that you're not just supporting other people. And, um, and, and helping others, you're actually, by the end of the day, you're supporting your own future, you're supporting yourself. If you have children, you're supporting your children in the way they grow up. And it's, a, it's a very good investment in this. And, and you do something that other people benefit from, and in the long run, you benefit from it as well. It's Putin's Russia, mm -hmm. but then again, it's Russia's Putin. Mm -hmm. you know? I mean, we all know it's not easy in an oppressed system where you can get arrested just for standing like this without even a shield in your hand. We you know. But I mean, on the other hand, and, and this I must really say, there was half a million young men leaving. Half a million young men managed to escape Russia, claiming that they were for, for peace. Mm -hmm. If I want to know, if these people would have stood up in Russia, like demonstrated against the fascist system, I swear they wouldn't be alone. And now that they escaped, I want to know now that they're in free, living in free countries, where are the demonstrations, where's the solidarity with Ukraine, where is their rising now that they can afford it against the fascist system? Exactly, it doesn't exist. So, shop your piece up your ass, really, that this is it. And I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. The, the thing is, the systems don't change themselves. You have to do something and you have to put yourself at, at risk. I mean, the, the people in Ukraine fought on my, my down for the world they want to live. You know, I have a huge respect for that, for the Orange Revolution, for the or, uh, revolution of dignity. You know, they know what they're fighting for and, and they know exactly what they're fighting right now and they pay a bloody high price for it. This is, um, this is why I can relate to it. I can't, I can't relate to cowardness. I'm sorry, I can't.